Hi and welcome to Condi TV. I'm Chris from Condi's Technical Support Department. Today we're going to be discussing Dynasub. Specifically, what causes water spots or modeling and how it can be avoided. Dynasub is one of our aluminum products that we offer here at Condi. It's one of the thinner aluminums that we have, but is oftentimes misinterpreted with the procedures of Chromalux or Unisub, one of the thicker metals that we offer here. This can lead oftentimes to a mispress of the metal, leading to a modeling or water spots look. Let's take a look at what I mean by that. What we're looking at here is the spotty look, which I like to call water spots, because it reminds me of soap scum when it's left on your dishes. This isn't seen on a direct angle. You have to kind of look at it shifting it in the light to see the spotty look start to come up. This is what we refer to as modeling or water spots when it comes to the Dynasub material. And this is what we look for in an actual finished product. As you can tell, there are no water spots or spotty looking at all. This is just a nice clean finish. And this is what you want from your Dynasub. The main issue when it comes to Dynasub, when it comes for the modeling or spotty look, is pressure or if you do it face up when it calls for face down, according to the instructions found on Condi's website or the PDF that we provide. The pressure calls for a very light pressure. And what we mean by that is being just making contact, which means the press just makes contact with the protective paper or the product itself. The way you need to do that is to adjust Prior to turning on the press or putting your product in and finding where just making contact on the platen is in which you can feel and it's just making small adjustments until you get perfectly on it. And that's where we want to be. And that's the, that's the first way to figuring out exactly where the pressure is, contact pressure for Dynasub material. The second way and the more preferred way by us here at Condi is to lift the press and tighten your press all the way down until taut. From there, you will not be able to lock your press. All you want to do is to lay it down and allow the weight of the press to sit on the Dynasub. This is still just contact pressure, but it will not allow it to lock. Your timer still should start and you should be able to keep up with how long you have to press on the Dynasub product. Once this is done, just simply lift up, pull it out, and you should have a good, clean, flat look with your Dynasub without any spotty look or any modeling. And that concludes our instruction on how to avoid getting a modeled or spotty look on your Dynasub aluminum. I hope this has answered any questions you have in regards to this subject. If you have any further questions, don't hesitate to give Condi's Technical Support Department a call at 1-800-826-6332 and select option number two. Once again, this is Chris from Condi's Technical Support Department. Thank you for watching Condi TV. There are so many videos for you to watch, we don't want you to miss out on a single one. So click here to subscribe to Condi TV on our video channel. Click here to like us on Facebook so you don't miss out on anything. And click here to visit this product's webpage.